here with Back to Normal Physical Therapy, and today I wanted to talk to you about stretching. Uh, so I work with many different athletes, and probably the most common thing uh, that I find, particularly with uh, athletes who have gotten injured, is what their stretching routine looks like and what types of stretches they're selecting before they're getting ready to train and after. So let's talk about Preparation. So preparation and warm-up should really be more about dynamic stretching. So what do I mean by dynamic stretching? So most people, when they think about stretching, they think of a static stretch. So if I were to stretch the back of my hamstring, and I put my leg down, and I tilt my body forward, and I feel a stretch in the back of the leg, and I hold that for 10, 20 seconds, that's considered a static stretch. Dynamic stretching, if I wanted to work on the hamstrings, for example, I could be moving and walking actively to lengthen and warm up my hamstring. So prior to uh, performance, what we want to do is increase blood flow to the muscle. We want to warm it up. You don't really want to do static stretching right before because the muscle is cold. And as a matter of fact, there is research that shows that doing static stretching doesn't help and actually could hurt your performance. So instead, we want you to do a very light, rhythmic type of movement, like some light jogging, for example, some jumping jacks, something to start to get the blood flow, and then mimic the movements that you're getting ready to do. So if you're a runner, you may do quick kicks like that to warm up your legs. If you're a tennis player, you may be looking at more lunging and rotational movements, so you're warming up those muscle groups. All right, so you also can use the massage stick, the grab the massage stick, to prepare your muscles. So just kind of going up and down any area of muscle and feeling for what I call little speed bumps, little, little trigger points, and then you just work those little areas and release that. Do that before your warm up. It's like preparing the muscle uh, before you're getting ready uh, to do an activity. You can also use a foam roller uh, as well to release. So, you know, find what works for you, but do something to prepare that muscle. So now, if we fast forward to after you're doing um, your activity, that's when we want to do the passive stretching. Now, if you're doing a real strenuous uh, activity, like you've just done a half marathon, or you played a tennis match, you want to do a cool down. So you don't want to just come right off the activity and go into stretching. You want to kind of get that heart rate to come down, start to cool the body down, and then you're going to stretch. That is the ideal time to do your passive stretching. So you can do a little dynamic work and then move right into your static stretching. And that will take you a very long way in your recovery. So we hope you enjoyed uh, this information and we look forward to seeing you.